What's going on everyone, it's Justin here and today we're visiting the Snapdragon booth at CES 2024 and we're checking out the concept car. And I want to give a huge thanks to Snapdragon for sponsoring this video. This is the digital chassis and Snapdragon is a company that powers so many realm of technologies when it comes to smartphones, wearables, XR and AR, as well as technology that is just integrated into a lot of modern day products. And the Snapdragon digital chassis is comprised of various solutions such as chipsets and platforms for vehicles that power the cockpit, connectivity, advanced driver assistance systems and more. But it's really cool to be able to see a demonstration of the concept car itself, as well as a real life demonstration demonstration within a consumer model and that is the BMW i7. This vehicle right here is really interesting because we're able to see the actual interface and how it works but it's actually broken down into four different main categories and that includes Snapdragon auto connectivity, how it connects with Wi-Fi and being able to control the inf infotainment system and how the car is connected to the cloud as well as Snapdragon cockpit and we're actually going to be demonstrating the UI elements of it, the intelligence, the voice assistance and the customization realms and Snapdragon Ride that is tied into features such as the cameras and the autonomous driving future. But essentially what the entire Snapdragon ecosystem within the automotive field is, is taking telemetry and hardware and harmonizing it with software to deliver the ultimate customer experience and the future of cars. Its mission is to provide automakers with the tools to be able to create the most technologically advanced cars of the future. And as someone who has covered many aspects of the electric car industry and the cars of the future, this is really interesting, especially as we get to take a look at the demo on the BMW i7, which is one of the most technologically sophisticated cars at the moment. So in this concept car, there's elements of the hardware on the front, the Snapdragon ride platform and the cockpit platform that is being displayed. But there's also all these different cameras that showcase features of hardware that most electric cars and cars of the future are going to have more of. But even just look at these doors. I mean, the hardware and the design of this is so unique. You have small details of the zero and ones. You have the LED lights that go inside and out. But as we hop in here, this cockpit interior really embodies the modern day vehicle. You have large displays that span all the way across. Everything is digital, including your mirrors, which tie to the cameras, as well as the rear view mirror. But this right here is the actual interior experience that the driver and passenger, as well as guests, are going to be able to enjoy. This concept car is one of the few auto demos with generative AI which can help with daily tasks providing productivity, convenience, and safety. These technology platforms serve as building blocks for developing the future and next generation of mobility systems, and Qualcomm's leadership in on-device AI will further the technology for enhanced in-vehicle user experience. You can ask Snapdragon to play your favorite song and stuff, but you can also change the interface depending on the theme and use case that you would like to enjoy, whether it is a parent or someone who's going on a road trip and looking for the next few landmarks, but it's also very visually beautiful. And with many vehicles nowadays, and especially ones of the future, featuring major displays that are very large and have every aspect of it integrated into a display itself, as opposed to traditional clusters, it really does open up the experience to be able to show information that is useful to the specific user and the type of user they are, as well as connecting it into their daily lives and also allowing you to customize it exactly the way that you would like. So stuff like sports scores, um, just general information, in this case you can see see a photo right here. It is also able to recognize the person that is sitting in the car and, and their own preferences. And everything that we're seeing here from the display to the user interface and audio system is being powered by Snapdragon cockpit platform. Another area that is also really important in the long run of these vehicles is the ability to improve them and also issue over the air software updates in the future. And with the Snapdragon digital chassis, it makes it very easy for software developers and automotive software developers to enhance the customer experience beyond delivering just a piece of hardware. With electric cars becoming a lot more reliable and the extended life of them, the way that they're able to continue to improve them is by making them smarter, but also improving on the interface that the customer is able to then customize, but also take advantage of all the hardware that is already integrated in the vehicle. Stuff like autonomous driving is one that is very progressive and takes a lot of time to continue to improve. And even though we've seen very impressive examples already, 
Most of these modern day vehicles and ones of the future have so many cameras equipped and with base autonomous driving integrated, a lot of its progression does rely on software and by being able to add functionality to the cars, it really is a big change to the automotive industry and the Snapdragon digital chassis entire intention is to make it easy for car manufacturers to develop an amazing platform for their customers. Snapdragon digital chassis products are being utilized by virtually all global automakers across their various brands and vehicles and is available now. Now that we've checked out the Snapdragon Digital Chassis concept car, it's time to see it in real life, and that is the BMW i7. This series is one that I've been really fascinated by because it has this huge 31-inch display that is able to display in an 8K resolution to enjoy from the back, and it really is a leisurely vehicle that BMW has used to showcase every aspect of tech both in automotive software and hardware. The inside just looks so futuristic. It has amazing materials and finishes, but most importantly, it is full of screens, cameras, and more while still remaining very elegant. So we're gonna hop in the car and talk about some of the features that it has and how it utilizes the Snapdragon digital chassis platform. But when it comes to the connected driver experience, not only does digital chassis power the beautiful interface that you have with the colorful screens, the themes and profiles, that you can enable as well as the audio and video animations but it also translates that over to the interior ambient lights and cockpit while also utilizing the technology for more specific things such as precision location tracking for figuring out where your car is parked but now that we've talked so much about the exterior let's hop into the interior while showing you more details of the car itself and how the actual interface is at the end. So I'm so excited to finally be sitting inside the BMW i7. It really just embodies modern day tech with the elegance of automotive technology. And whenever you combine amazing tech with amazing design, you end up with a premium product for the end user. I mean, right here, we're taking a look at this beautiful display that stretches all the way across. And when it comes to the clusters and the information, these are all very visual things. And by utilizing all of this display, the interfaces and speakers that are surrounding, the digital platform controls both the audio and the visual experience as well, aside from bringing all the hardware together to integrate into features such as autonomous driving, assistance and safety. Just going through this interface, you can see there are so many apps that are available on the BMW platform. You have Android Auto, you have Personal Assistant, and that is something that we've also demonstrated in the digital chassis concept. But on top of that, there's stuff like games, being able to access YouTube, and also your favorite apps that you know already, such as Spotify and Alexa. And of course, again, everything with the i7 from the displays and entertainment system are powered by the Snapdragon cockpit and connectivity platforms that are part of the Snapdragon digital chassis. Another enhancement is also precision. This car features enhanced precision when it comes to showing where you are on a map specifically. So for example, we're in the convention center right now and it has been pinned smack in the middle of the convention center instead of just being in like the parking lot or the street. But I also just love the immersive displays and the graphics of this generation of BMW's presentation. And a lot of that is due to their collaboration with Qualcomm. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And we review a lot of cars on the channel. So I'm sure as we move forward into the future, we're going to be seeing so much more of this technology integrated into cars that we're testing out and cars that I'm possibly going to own in the future as well. So if you guys want to learn more, I'm going to drop a link down in the description section below and I'll see you all in the next one.